In this video, we'll take a look at how to update Corel Painter. So, there, I'll put a link in the video here, but what you want to do is go to their website uh, to the Corel Painter updates page. It's pretty easy to find if you just do a search in Google for update Corel Painter, it'll come up. And when you get to their updates page, um, it might take you here, and you'll have to find Corel Painter down on the list, click on it you'll get this page and what's a little confusing is the order that you have to install these updates and you would probably think that you want to start at the top and work your way down however these updates are listed um, chronologically uh, going from bottom to top so you have to install the earlier updates first down here at the bottom uh, so let's say if it's uh, Macintosh you would install, you would download this update here, and then once it's downloaded, find the, f uh, the file in your downloads folder and run it and install it. And then after it's done installing, then you'd move on to the next one to go to version 12.1. Download that, install that. When it's done, go to the hotfix. There's another one. I know you're thinking, wow, this is a lot of... <laughs> Uh, patches and things, and it is, but once it's done, it's done, and you know it's going to make Painter work a lot better. And then this is the most important one here, 12.2, because it adds uh, flow maps functionality, uh, which is really cool. So I definitely recommend installing all of these. It won't take that much time to do. It's pretty easy. But again, the important thing to do is uh, get the appropriate one for Windows or for Mac, depending on what operating system you're using, and then start at the bottom and, up and install the earlier updates first. So down here at the bottom that would be Service Pack 1 for Macintosh or Service Pack 1 for Windows. And then the next one up from there is the 12.1 update for Mac or Windows and so on. So installing all these will make Curl Painter work better and it will make it so that uh, you and I are working with the same version of Painter when you follow along with my videos. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any other questions about how to update Painter, uh, just feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video.